Hey everyone, I'm Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Hello, Snackers. My name is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. And welcome to episode 99 of Snack Minute. We're done after this, right, Kareem? Yeah, we just quit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bite of learning covering tech, coding, and some cool stuff and projects that we work on. Now, last week, we had on John Cook to talk to us about how to navigate the documentation in Meraki.io and learn how to actually build stuff with the APIs. But today we have a follow-up to that, uh, and we're going to be talking about what happens when you actually build something and what you want to do with that. And uh, with us we have Jackie and Shana. Um, if you guys don't uh, mind, wouldn't mind introducing yourselves, and and then we'll get started. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Jackie. I'm one of the ecosystem business development managers at Cisco Meraki. Hi everyone, Shana Boudreau. I'm a business development manager here at Meraki, supporting Meraki Marketplace and ecosystem. Good to have you guys. So give us a little bit on uh, a little bit of information about what is the Meraki Marketplace and maybe just navigate us through it just for us to have an idea. Yeah, sure. So several years ago, we think back uh, pre-pandemic, customers came to Cisco Meraki to buy access points, switches, security appliances, uh, Meraki cameras and sensors, right? But over the pandemic, customer has asked for a lot more. Uh, they came back and said, hey, Jackie, those cameras that we bought two years ago, now we want to do a little bit more with it, right? During the pandemic, customers were asking for uh, face mask detection, or they might be now, as stores are opening back up or back to the norm, retail customers are talking about, hey, we need people counting solutions inside of our stores. How many people are coming in? Or if the retail store has over six people waiting in line, what solutions can I use to notify my staff that there's more than six people waiting at, uh, to check out at the cash register, right? So that's why we have the Cisco Meraki Marketplace. It's a marketplace where our team has spent time to evaluate and reviewed these solutions uh, that bring additional value on top of Meraki's cloud networking platform. So for example, our website is apps.meraki.io. And when you come into the marketplace, there's a list of things that you can look through, such as analytics, automation, uh, hybrid work, right? I know Cisco has a huge hybrid work focus. If you're a managed service provider looking to add additional value on top of your Meraki managed services, there are some pretty cool tools that we also offer as well. So for example, Karim, earlier I was talking about uh, customers, like just last week, I went to ISC West. There was a lot of customers saying like, what's great about the Meraki camera? Like, uh, well, if you were someone who was looking to do something like license plate recognition, uh, you bought a camera last year and now you're a school, you might wanna do things like, hey, we wanna identify all the cars that are coming into the school parking lot we can now leverage uh, a plate recognizer application that our partner has built, right? They identify the plates. This is also a free application. Uh, they take about 2,500 images for free each month. And if the customers are interested in it, uh, they can schedule a call with our ecosystem partners on, uh, on their solution uh, to learn a little bit more. Uh, and all of this is available on the Meraki marketplace, right? Um, so that's that's a little bit about the Mar Meraki Marketplace. Last episode, uh, John Kuta was talking about APIs, right? And if you're a developer that's interested in building your own application, leveraging Cisco Meraki dashboard APIs or scanning APIs, you can actually do so, right? And Shana, in a minute, is going to talk a little bit more about, hey, how do we become a ecosystem partner if you're if you're somebody who wants to develop an app and uh, share it with us we're always accepting new net new ecosystem partners on our marketplace that's sweet so you mentioned um free trials or, or free uh some of these things are free uh but uh i assume that not everything is free uh do you do the partners themselves do they tend to offer trials in these situations yeah they actually offer trials. It really depends on each and every single one of these partners, right? Uh, so for example, like ServiceNow Connector, this was out, actually built in-house uh, from the Cisco Meraki API team. And 
this is something that's free to our customers. Now, there are some applications like Splash Access. Uh, they'll have a monthly uh, cost or a uh, yearly cost. So again, yeah, it really depends on each, each of the solution. I might be answering your question already. I'm not sure, but say you were, you know, interested um, in seeing if Flash or Avic or Boundless offered a free trial. You can click on any one of their specific application tiles, um, and you can then click on that orange button that says Request a Demo, um, and that goes to our ecosystem partners. So you can let them know. Again, I'm a customer, I'm interested in learning more about the solution and possibly requesting a free trial. Uh, this is probably one of the easiest ways to start those conversations. Um, and then, of course, reaching out to your Meraki seller, you know, they can also help uh, bridge the gap with ecosystem partners and determine that the best solution. So um, maybe that answered your question. I'm a, an individual or a partner that's that's built something really cool, and I'd like to showcase it on the marketplace and allow others to purchase. How do I how do I do that? Yeah, so I can talk a little bit about what we refer to as our onboarding journey. This is a really great place uh, if you're a software developer uh, to start because it's broken down into different journey modules and tiles. So it's a nice step-by-step -step process. Uh, but overall, the, the first um, step in the process is to apply. And there is a link um, on the marketplace app.meraki.io that says, you know, join the Meraki marketplace. Um, and that's our formal application. Um, so fill that out and that's, you know, step one. Uh, and then either myself or one of my teammates will be in touch with you to learn a little bit more about your um, solution application. Um, we do have some technical requirements, API requirements that Jackie and John um, both have mentioned. And that's something that we can talk um, with you about during the introductory call. And then it's also outlined here uh, in tile four of our Cisco partner journey. Um, so here we're just reviewing all of the different API integrations that Meraki offers and our software developers can leverage to ingest data from the Meraki hardware. Um, and then to back up just a little bit, you know, some of the tiles in the beginning are really nice if you're a software developer that uh, maybe isn't as familiar with Meraki. Uh, there's some information here just to familiarize you with Meraki's platform. Um, and, and then also some of the benefits to joining the marketplace. Like, uh, there's no cost to you to be a part of the marketplace. This is also a lead generation tool. Uh, it's also a great opportunity to have increased visibility with Cisco and Meraki sellers, as well as um, our customer base. So there's a lot of great information here, and I certainly don't have time to go through all of it, um, but this can really help uh, software developers have a good understanding of the entire journey um, and the best way to prepare for it. It's really cool to see that there's like an end journey where if I built something really cool, I could become a uh, Meraki ecosystem partner and sell my wares and, and you know, take that full and that full aspect from implementing and learning APIs to actually turning them into something that that I can make saleable. So that's really exciting, um, and it's really cool. It looks like you guys make it very very easy um, to engage uh, as a partner and, um, and get those things up and running in Meraki. Uh, so that's that's super exciting. Thanks for thanks for showing us this. Yeah, absolutely. We definitely try to to make it easy. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. But before we let you go, you guys are first time guests. And so uh, we ask all first time guests uh, what their superhero power would be and why. Um, we're going to start with uh, Shayna and then we'll have ja uh, Jackie go second. All right. Sounds good. So I had maybe like 10 minutes to think about this. And I think it would be superhuman <laughs> determination. Um, so whether at work or at home, um, if it's planning a birthday party for my kids or trying to onboard a new application, um, I'm a very determined individual. So uh, once I set my mind to something, I'll continue to 
to work on it um, and and see it through to fruition. I love that one. Never ending motivation. <laughs> uh, Jackie, how about you? Oh, this is a good one. Uh, I'm saying teleport after coming back from Las Vegas and the fact that we have to go to Cisco Live in a, in a few months, in, in just a month or two. And then next week, uh, in two weeks, I'm going to be in Chicago for him. So I think I can use some teleport power. Uh, just looking at how many, how many steps I've walked this past week, I was, yeah, I, I am like exhausted. So yeah, teleport would, would be a nice one. I think that's our number one response over the course of these last 99 episodes. Thank you guys for joining us. Everyone go check out uh, the Meraki Marketplace. And uh, we'll see you next time for episode 100. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Snackers. Thank you so much for having us.